Hi, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Lotteries, Career, Business, Casino, Financial Speculation and this is for you especially coming from Aquarius and it's for the month of April 2019. Now, I'm going to give you my email first. Andy Horo 9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O 9, the number 9, at gmail.com. Send me an email and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Now, I'm going to use my Kabbalistic cards, tarot cards. And the first card that I pull will to do with the first 15 days of April. And I'm going to talk to you about your job area for you coming from Aquarius. From Aquarius. Oh, and it's not a good card at all. It's a card of f attracting opposition and provocation. And so, for the first 15 days of April, you coming from Aquarius, you're going to be having a difficult time in your job areas. Don't show your temper, don't show your arrogance. Try your best to be accommodating and be flexible and negotiable, or you're going to have a torrid time in the first 15 days, making a mess of it, even losing a job. And even if you try to apply for a job in the first 15 days, it's not going to be good news at all. So work hard with the job you have and stick there for the time being. Now the next card that I pull will have to do with your business areas in the first 15 days. And it's a card that's called the devil. Not the devil in that sense, but the devil which is not going to help you. And so the card I would translate is that in your business areas, you are going to lose out because there's an undercurrent of problems created by people against you in business. So you can't afford to somehow rely on information of business to go looking for new businesses. It's bad enough that the business you already have is weakening in these first 15 days of April. So work your hardest, keep a low profile, don't want to waste money by chasing new businesses in the first 15 days of April. Now I'm going to move to the last 15 days of April and this is for you coming from Aquarius and I'm going to tackle your job area. It's a much better card. It says you'll have to plan to make some changes but your luck is improving in the last 15 days where your job is concerned. I would apply that even if your ongoing job you can be luckier and luckier as the days move by in your last 15 days. If you're looking for a new job, yes, you will get a better one. So there's room for improvement where the job is concerned in the last 15 days. So make your move. Now I'm going to pull the next card to talk to you about your business area in the last 15 days. Oh, it's a good card. It says you can find a lot of new business. It's a card of Venus for you. You can find a lot of business and you'll be able to be on a turf that is just sprouting with good news. And you can have the possibility of looking forward to finding even a new job or a new business for yourself. Well, talking of business with this card, it says attracting a new partnership is very possible. And the chances of you making some money is very possible as well. So go ahead and try your luck in the area of business. And don't forget the job side is also doing well in the last 15 days. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky dates, D-A-T-E-S. And for you coming from Aquarius and this card, let's see what it says. You coming from Aquarius. I will choose, it's a card of Mercury, by the way, the card of money. So I'm going to choose the number, the dates, which are the 5th, the 14th and the 23rd. They are going to be extremely lucky where money speculation is concerned. So whether it's a casino, going to the horse racing bed, going to any form of business specul uh, uh, money speculation, choose the 5th, 14th and 23rd to do it and you are bound to get some good luck in any form of financial speculation. Now about your lucky directions. Why lucky directions? Because nine planets are surrounding Earth and when we look north, south, east or west, we are going to face one planet or another. And so what are the directions for you for Aquarius? From this card, I'm going to choose the direction of north, east. 
So when you face northeast, you're going to be inspired in financial speculation areas. So face northeast as much as possible in the month of April to be inspired, whether for lotteries, whether the casino, whether the stock market, whether the forex, whether the job, whether the business. And you will see that the inspiration when you face northeast will be very profitably yours. Now about lottery favorite numbers for you coming from Aquarius. Well, what I've done is I've used Kabbalistic astrology and I've tracked the nine planets and their movement in the month of April. I've divided the nine planets into two groups and the first group there are five planets. And from these five planets, I've made notes for you. So I've done my homework for you. And in the first, the first group of five planets have given me these numbers. You see, every planet rules a number, so with the movement of the planets, I translate it to numbers. And for the first set of numbers, I would say are the number 8, 17, 26, 35, 44, 53 or 62, depending on the lotteries you play. Then I went to the second group of planets, four planets there, and I followed their movements. And the numbers I get from there are the number 3, 12, 21, 30, 39, 48 or 57. Now all these numbers I'm getting is from my energy, not from your energy. The third set of numbers I'm going to use Kabbalistic tarot cards. And let's see what the card says. Okay. And what does the card say? Oh, it's a Uranus card and a Gemini is shown there as well the sign. So I'm going to say that the the sets of numbers from here would be the number 5, 14, 23, 32, 41, 50 or 59. So now you've got three sets of numbers. So what do you do? Well, if you've been to see me for a 90 minute session and you would have paid me USD 50 for it, I would have told you, well, now you go to a stationery shop and you buy paper of your good colors based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms, I will know what your good colors are. Well, if you haven't been to see me, then just use the ordinary white paper, A4 size paper, get a scissors and cut roughly 2 inch by 2 inch strips, roughly. And on each of these 2 inch by 2 inch, you will write just one number of all these numbers I've given you. You may start with the number 8 and then you'll fold up the paper, you put it on the table. And then you'll take another 2 inch by 2 inch and you write the number 17 and you'll fold it up and put it on the table. And you will do that till you've covered all your numbers. And these are only for the month of April. And so you've got all these numbers. Now, if you've been to see me, I would say that you have to wait for your lucky days before you can do this exercise of the supernaturalness. And you'll only know that if you've been to see me for a session of 90 minutes. But if you haven't been to see me, then choose any days that are convenient to you. And I would have said you've got to wear your best colors because every color that you wear or that you touch opens a channel of energy to that planet at the moment that you're touching or that you're using for clothes. If it's a lucky color, you are contacting your lucky planets. If it's a bad color, then you will be attending to your bad planet. This will be based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. In the meantime, wear any colors you like. And I would have told you that you'll have to face your best directions. If you haven't been to see me, just face any direction. And now you're ready for the supernaturalness. Your fingerprints and your thumbprints, they belong to your soul. Yes, they are the code of your soul. They are the identity of your soul. When we die, the fingerprints and thumbprints leave us to be given to the next person or at some time or another to a person born. And that soul who, who is the identity of this will go there. So for the time being, they are yours. So every finger you have and the thumbs, they are controlled or energized by different planets. For example, this is the finger that has the Sun position and the Jupiter position. The thumbs are always the supreme Sun position. So based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms, I will be able to tell you which is the most important finger. Could it be this? Could it be this? Could it be this? Could it be this? Let's say it is this. So you will do that and you will meditate or you'll focus on all these papers in front of you. Take 30 seconds, take a minute, take two, three minutes. Some people ask me, can I say a prayer while I do this? Why not? And when you're ready, you'll just pick up one paper and you will open it and you'll see the number you wrote. Write it down on a piece of paper, fold it back. And you'll need to do it six times if you need six numbers. This exercise again and again of meditation. 
and inspiring yourself. If you need five numbers, you'll do it five times. Okay? And now you've got your numbers and you're ready to go and buy and you have to go and buy your numbers only on your lucky days. And if you don't know that yet, well, go on any day that you want. And you'll have to wear your best colors because as I said, when you wear a color on you, you communicate to your best planners. What's the point of having a color that's not good on you, you're communicating to a bad planet, they will have no chance to go and buy a good ticket. The luck won't be there. So in the meantime, just go on any day and wear any color and go and buy your ticket. So you see this 90-minute session, which will cost you only USD 50. I'll tackle your next seven, eight or nine years. I'll talk to you about your romance, your marriage, your family, about your health in detail. And I'll talk to you about a lot about lotteries and about your job and business as well. I'll give you your personal lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. So with all this information, you will be in fully control in all areas of your life, all that for USD 50. So send me an email, Andy Horo 9 A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O, the number 9, at gmail.com. And I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Until then, I wish you the best of luck for the month of April. Thank you and goodbye.